This video is not teaching you anything today other than the fact that sometimes I don't know what I'm doing and I need your ideas. So, help. I'm not getting too excited uh, that most of the snow is gone because it's April in Minnesota, so we could still get snow for like another six weeks probably. It melts and we get excited and it warms up and then it snows again. So I'm out here to show you that we have this pasture that is fenced. I don't know if you can see the fence in this shot, but we used to have horses and goats out here and we haven't for many years. So we have this pasture that's basically not being used. What am I supposed to do with it? Now, of course, the obvious thing is always put an animal in there, get another big animal. This year, we're not focusing as much on the animals. That's not to say we're not having animals. We have animals. It's just that when we first moved here, everything was about the animals. It was about how do we provide meat for our family? Now I'm starting to think more about the garden and the veggies because we've got the animal thing under control, right? Like we have a system and we know what works for us. So now let's make gardening less of a hey, let's just throw some seeds in the ground and see what happens, and let's be more intentional about it, right? Another thing that comes along with that is, how can we grow more food for the animals we raise so we can be less dependent on the feed store to feed our animals? Are you helping? Hello. Hi. Oh, you're helping too? Hi, Poofy Kitty. So we've got five acres here, and we've been here, this is our 11th year that we'll have been on the farm. And it's interesting to go around the farm and look at the way that things have been set up for the last however many years we've been here and think, how can we do things differently? Because when you've been on a piece of property for a while, you see it the way you've always saw it. And this year I'm trying to look at things differently. Especially since I hear about people who have way less land than we do, you know, like a quarter acre, and they are doing way more food production on their quarter acre than we're doing with five acres. We need to do things different here. So that's gonna be our focus this year. Doing things differently, trying to do things more efficiently, using the land we have in a more efficient way to get more food coming out of this property. How are we gonna do that? I don't exactly know yet. We're still figuring it out. And if you have any suggestions, I'd be more than happy to listen to them. This is our raspberry patch. There's nothing but snow here right now. But out in here, this is where we want to plant apple trees. Again, because we already tried that once and the deer destroyed them. Which just goes to show you that sometimes I don't know what I'm doing and I make mistakes. Which means you should do things and be okay with making mistakes. This is our main garden over here. It's divided into two sections. We did not clean it up before the snow came last year. So we still have our plastic mulch on the ground which needs to come up. We can put some uh, good stuff in the garden and till it up and get it ready to plant. This spot over here is where we usually put hay and then we do our Ruth Stout garden for potatoes and onions. We got grapevines grapevines. Here's my herb garden. I'm being completely honest here. Look at all the stuff that I don't clean up before the snow comes. One thing you can count on from Amy is that she'll be real. Normally there's more of a point to my videos and I guess the point of this video is to tell you we're focusing on different things this year. It used to be all about meat and the animals at this farm. This year we're shifting more towards vegetables. Not that we're not going to have the animals but I want to focus more on the vegetables in the way that I can use stuff we're growing here to feed the animals that we have. And also, we got a pressure canner, so now I can preserve even more of the stuff that we are uh, growing and raising here, so I'm excited about that. And maybe it's just a way to tell y'all that even when you've been on a farm for, what is this, the 11th year, you're still figuring things out, and you're still changing direction, and you're still trying new things, so don't be afraid to do that. Try something. Do it as long as it works. Change your mind, punt, do whatever. Life's an adventure, right? Yeah. Have a good day.